Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the correlation detection. What do you mean by correlation detection? Correlation detection is nothing but the output of matched filter can also be obtained by taking the correlation between the input signal of the matched filter and the replica of the transmitted signal a delayed replica of the transmitted signal we know this expression already when we were discussing the cross correlation of this matched filter see the output of matched filter the output of matched filter let it be y naught of t can be expressed as the output of matched filter y naught of t can be expressed as we know y naught of t is equal to <coughs> integral minus infinity to infinity y in of t s of lambda minus of t minus t1 this expression we have already discussed in the previous videos that is equal to correlation of two different signals so r of t minus t1 t minus t1 what is this expression says this expression says this is uh, integral minus infinity to infinity y in of t into s of something what is this expression see sorry it is y in of lambda so what this expression says is what is y in where y in of lambda is nothing but input of matched filter and what is <coughs> s of sigma it is the received signal received signal so we can say this is y integral minus infinity to infinity y in of lambda into s of lambda minus something we can write this expression uh, we can uh, state this expression as the output y naught of t is the multiplication of or correlation we can say it's nothing but a multiplication or correlation it is the correlation function of correlation function of what and what correlation function of input of the filter input of the matched filter like y in of t and what is another signal delayed replica delayed replica because it is having sigma minus a lambda minus of some time period delay so delayed replica of delayed replica of transmitted signal transmitted signal that is nothing but what is the signal that has been transmitted into this receiving section so transmitted signal okay so can we design any correlation function for that that means can we design any separate block diagram for that using the same statement yes we can okay but what what is what type of targets it can detect what type of targets it can detect so the input signal y of t is multiplied by the delayed replica of the transmitted signal and this product passes passed through a low pass filter so this product see here this product passes through passes through a low pass filter this product passes through a low pass filter to perform to perform integration because low pass filter acts as integrator high pass filter acts as differentiator so to perform integration technique we should go we should make the signal to pass through a low pass filter okay so the correlation receiver we are going to design a correlation receiver that correlation receiver works with the delay like a tr so 
uh, we are taking this correlation receiver using the above concept nothing but input signal multiplied by the delayed replica and after passing through the real, uh, low pass filter that type of uh, receiver can detect the targets can detect the targets at a time delay of like TR time delay TR okay see this is the cross correlation receiver okay correlation detection is nothing but we are designing a block diagram separately to detect the targets using this cross correlation method what we have studied so far okay so we are taking a mixer nothing but a multiplier we are taking a mixer nothing but a multiplier which is having the input signal that is y in of t what is our expression y naught of t is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity y in of lambda or y in of t whatever it is yes of lambda minus of t minus t1 that is equal to cross correlation function r of t minus t1 uh, this is t lambda so for this expression now for this expression we are implementing a block diagram in such a way that it should be a multiplication of y in of lambda nothing but we are taking just lambda becomes t here the received signal directly we are giving as the input to the mixer mixer has two inputs one is coming from the y in of lambda another one what is another signal a delayed replica of this transmitted signal so s of lambda must be delayed by some factor t minus t1 something like a tr we are taking here okay so the stored replica the stored replica which is nothing but a part of the transmitted signal uh, s of t s of t must be passing through a delay circuit to provide a delay of tr so s of t minus tr when these two are passing through this mixer what a mixer will do nothing mixer will nothing but mixer will do lot of things like multiplication addition subtraction depending on application <coughs> so here we are just taking a multiplier this multiplier multiply this y in of t and s of t minus tau here it gives y in of t s of t minus tr okay when this signal is passing through a low pass filter i told you already low pass filter acts as integrator high pass filter acts as differentiator okay so low pass filter as it is acting as integrator when it is passing through this one so here the output signal will be having integral minus infinity to infinity y in of t s of t minus tr with respect to t integration with respect to time compare these two signals whatever we have studied theoretically and from this block diagram what whether we got the same or not see here it is y in of lambda it is y in of t it is s of lambda minus some value it is s of t minus tr so here we are having the same expression like this that is nothing but we can design a correlation detection using the concept of what we have studied like r of t minus t1 we can design the correlation detection that means instead of using the big block diagram what we have used in the receiver section we can also use this this block diagram as the receiver in the prior systems but you may have a doubt that how many targets it can receive suppose if the time delay is fixed if this time delay is fixed okay this time delay let it be tr1 okay i will try here uh, consider our radar system okay so we are transmitting the signal s of t consider a target target 1 okay and this is target 2 okay when we are transmitting a signal into the free space after some time we will be receiving the signal after some time that time is nothing but tr what he has stated in the block diagram delay okay so after which time we are receiving the same signal 
s of t minus tr so this is the received signal after some time tr okay but this tr if uh, what we are doing in the by default in the receiver we are setting the delay at particular time tr if this delay is fixed we are working for only one target okay if the delay is tr is fixed means the detection is possible for only one target but our receiver radar receiver whichever we are designing must be a conventional receiver it has to be designed in such a way that it should select it should detect any type of targets in the vicinity of the radar system so if tr is fixed definitely it works only for this first target let us consider in our example we have taken two targets one target with the distance tr1 uh, time delay tr1 and another target with a time delay tr2 so what happens now the time delay must be a variable it should not be fixed so if we choose the time delay circuit delay circuit as a variable as a variable delay network then our radar receiver like uh, correlation receiver we can say it is a correlation receiver correlation receiver can receive multiple targets can receive multiple targets okay so we cannot fix the time period if once the time period is fi fixed only one target can be identified within that particular time zone so if we are changing the time period like tr becomes tr1 or tr2 or tr3 whatever it is so that the different targets can be obtained using the same radar receiver so we can also replace the entire receiver with this correlation receiver so that is the importance of correlation detection in the use with the help of matched filter okay thank you